Hi everyone, I'm Alistair, I'm the developer of Overcrowd and I'm going to show you how to sculpt and build tracks on the day 2 tutorial in the game. So select day 2 and press start. Uh, I thought it would be worth putting this video in just to show how those mechanics work in the game because I guess it's slightly different to other games and uh, sometimes it's just easier to see it, to understand it. So, if you click on edit floor first, it asks you to build an entrance, uh, which you can do using infrastructure, place the entrance, uh, and this pop-up explains uh, how you go about building a track. So what you need to do is look for the tunnel edges that are on the edge of the map, and then you can sculpt floor down level. Once you've done that, you can see like the earth has been cut away to reveal track blueprints. And you can only build tracks on track blueprints. Uh, so once you've you know excavated down to level minus one, you can build some more floor or extend the concourse uh, so that it's underneath more of the track blueprint. Uh, which will look like that when you've released the button. Uh, after that you can then place a track on the track blueprint. So the first step of that was to sculpt, so you do that by clicking there. And then it bring up a little uh, explain explainer for that, so you can sculpt over four levels in overcrowd. Um, you can lower the height of the floor uh, using the sculpt mode and you do that basically by hovering over and right clicking and dragging as if you were sort of dragging over a window um, which is what this explains then when you release the floor will then uh, excavate to minus one level and the, to raise the floor you can do the opposite which is by pressing left click and that will raise the floor up like this so yeah, I've selected Sculpt, so just to show you, if I right click and drag and release, it goes down. If I left click, it goes up. Um, and you know, you can extend floor, edit floor using the edit floor, left click to build, right click to delete. So we want to build on this track blueprint here. So I will select Sculpt, right click to go down, and then you can see this is where we want to put the track, but you have to have concourse underneath the track before you can build there. So I've selected edit floor, hover over some existing concourse, and then left click and drag across. So this is how you build a new floor. When you release, uh, it builds, and then it cuts away the earth so you can see what you're doing. So if I want to make the track go all the way along here, I could make it extend across. Uh, I don't need this floor so I'm going to right click and drag and sell that and then to place the track go into infrastructure and select platform and you can see when you hover on top of blueprint it shows you how many carriages you'll be able to fit on that track if you right click you can make it go the other direction just if you wanted trains to enter a different way generally aesthetically uh, that's the main difference for that, but uh, once you're in the right place, you can left click and the track is built. Uh, after that, you know you can configure where people get off by using by right clicking it. And but that's that uh, configuring of signs is covered in the day one tutorial, and uh, I really wanted to just to cover the basics of sculpting floor and building tracks. Uh, the rest of the tutorial will ask you to build some power generators and some staircases which you kind of do just sort of straightforwardly you can just place some objects uh, I suppose I may as well show just if you wanted to configure this the signage you know you right click on objects to, to do that I want this to point down platform one and this to point down to platform one 
then I want them to get off this side, which is correct. And then I want them to leave, so I select exit, and then exit for this turnstile. So they'll come in, go down here, and up here. Uh, but if you follow the rest of the instructions here, you know, they'll tell you, for example, to build a ticket machine uh, and some power generators, and then you'll be able to open the station. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you did manage to get stuck on day two, this video will hopefully help you get through uh, just see the basics and after that you'll probably be good to go on the campaign. Thank you.